Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. Here we are on episode 12. Now, if you guys haven't seen last episode, once again, the playlist will be linked down below in the description. So go ahead and check out the other episodes if you would like to. Now, in last episode, I did start naming all 10 of these dogs, starting with Caesar. So we're gonna continue that with this episode. Let's go ahead and grab one more of our name tags and we're going to name. I was thinking of, I did get a few names, but however, I think one name that I like will go for one of these guys. So let's go to our anvil and we're simply just going to name them cloud. I think that's quite a cool little name for the, uh, the gray dogs. There we go. So now he is going to be my little buddy for this episode. And uh, if you guys can see my inventory is quite full of some uh, some certain things. So let's actually. Oh, my gosh. What? All right. Let's put our bones away. Oops. Like that. Uh, I have some arrows. I plan on putting these bows together. So let's actually do that. How much is 8 XP? 8 X. OK. So we got an unbreaking three bow. That's fine. I'll move these over. Now we can shoot from range. But I was trying to do some more upgrades. So we have some pretty bad gear. Like the up the upgrades I'm getting, the enchants, are horrible. So I really wanted to add some more bookshelves. Even though it's level 30, I don't think it's. Can you get out? We just teleport. There you go. I don't think it's the greatest enchant. Now I was thinking of don't shoot me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was thinking of going to get more leather, which I only have like five, so I can get more bookshelves. But I remembered I have an entire enchantment table up here. So let's actually steal some bookshelves from here, which will be much easier, and go place them down in the skeleton farm that I have. And hopefully it will give me some better enchants because I'm tired of getting fire protection three, protection three, and like, it's just... They're horrible in chance. So let's hope that it improves just slightly. Okay, so I don't. Oh, hello. Uh, so I did go ahead and build a skeleton farm, uh, which I guess I kind of showed last episode, but I didn't actually really tell you about it. So, yes, I do have a skeleton farm that I ended up finding while strip mining. But uh, yeah, we got a zombie one and a skeleton. And the, the skeleton is now the main XP farm because I don't like the zombie farm. I find it quite useless. There's nothing but XP. So here we get a ton of bones, enchanted uh, bows, and let's just sit here for a second. Uh, it's just so much better. So this is the new main XP farm. Now let's go ahead and uh, just add some extra bookshelves here. Let's, uh, let's move this stuff out the way. Okay, that should be... We'll even do it that. I know that's overkill, but it should be uh, enough. Okay, so let's toss all that stuff away. We don't need that sword. All right, now let's see. Because we still have our helmet, so let's see. What will we get? I'm breaking three. Okay. Well, let's grind for a few levels and upgrade or enchant our helmet. Okay, now let's see. Did I put the lapse away? All right, now let's see. I'm breaking three. Please have just something good. Oh, why? Why does this place hate me? Okay. I mean, I could put these two together to make protection for... But then the Depth Strider 2 kind of sucks. So that means I have to waste more diamonds to make another pair of boots. I'm getting rid of this helmet because I do not. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm getting rid of this helmet. I don't like that. That is. Uh, why is the enchanting on this world so bad? It just it hates me. It does. OK, try number. What is it now? I don't want blast protection. I'm so tired of sitting here at the XP farm. <laughs> this is so boring. 
Okay. Oh, those are both the enchant. Okay. I wanted both those enchantments, but what is that? Like, no one breaking, no protection. Now I gotta waste more diamonds. <laughs> I've never had this this worse luck on a, on enchanting anything. Let's make another pair of boots just because. So I'm breaking three. I'm gonna do the helmet. Ugh. This is so like it's just it's it's torture. What a natural like dramatic zoom that was. Okay, I'm breaking three. Why? <laughs> Why? I mean, I needed I'm breaking three, I guess. <laughs> I feel so defeated. Just why can't I get anything good? Okay, so we can get I'm breaking three or guaranteed protection three, which could be actually pretty good because I have a protection three pair of boots here, which I was going to put with these. However, I already have them breaking, so it doesn't matter. But if I get protection three on the book, I could put that here for protection four and then reset these boots for hopefully feather falling. So I don't I, I don't want to do a helmet no more. I'm done with helmets. So protection three. OK, so at least I get protect. OK. Another protection three guarantee for next. I guess that's pretty good. Let's disenchant these boots because I don't need them. Uh, fire. Yeah, I do not care. OK. <laughs> OK. Protection three. I'm breaking. OK. I mean, honestly, there could be a lot worse things. So let's start putting all this stuff together. So protection three will go. Let's take these boots off. Oh, feather falling three. OK, I guess that worked out in my favor. OK, so uh, we are going to put. Can I do that? So that's protection three feather falling three. And we'll mix that on our good pair of boots. So now we will get protection four, feather falling three, depth strider two, a break. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. OK, so I'll take that. So we have an extra pair of boots. I don't know why. I don't know what happened there. All right. So now we'll do protection three. Well, we don't need an unbreaking three helmet. So let's just do 16. So protection three, respiration. All right, let's get a few levels. I mean, I guess it's kind of working out in the end, but it's just it's taking so long to get like the most basic stuff. I feel like I've done this like better in chance much faster than this. All right, what was I doing? These two protection three, respiration, aqua. OK, so we have an unbreaking three helmet. I'm going to get rid of that okay now we have full enchants i gotta get, i gotta rid of the fire protection i don't like i do not like fire protection and we have sharpness three which i don't need anymore density all right at least we got some work done we'll put the uh the extra armor in there and uh I do got to come back. Like I said, I want to get rid of the fire protection three add protection four. Uh, Feather falling three is really, really good. So I'm happy with that. Uh, somehow I got that as a level t middle tier enchant instead of a 30 enchant. So that's pretty good. So, all right, we'll just kill these guys, get the last bit of XP and then we'll head up and try and do something productive other than just sitting down here in a dark space slaying some skeletons.
Okay, so now that we have the enchantment part done, I, uh, as you get to see, I have one piece of food. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there's, I got two extra pieces of food. Would you look at that? All right, so one thing that I need, I just, I need to get done is a source of food. So if we come over here, what? So we have some cows down there, as you can barely see from this unintentional iron farm here. Uh, so there's four cows down there. So I want to move them into a crusher, which is now going to be a bigger task than I thought, considering that there's an overflow of iron golems. I don't know how to deal with that, but I want to go ahead and build a tiny little building uh, just surround a cow crusher. Now, this will help me get mainly food, but also leather if I ever need it, which I don't really think I do, but I guess it'll be a, a cool little side effect. So let's go ahead and just do, I guess, a tidy building right here. Now, I guess one benefit of building this will be it will also act as a villager's house. So I'll have beds inside and uh, I'll make it look like a villagers, I guess, doing all the farming work on the cows or meat grinding work, whatever you want to call it. So let's get some resources and uh, which I don't think I have very much of. And uh, let's just build a little tiny house there. Nothing impressive, just so we can stick some cows in there if I can manage to do so. Hey, why are you sleeping? That is... Move, please. Thank you. I'm gonna let a creeper inside of my house. Would you look at that? I don't know how, I've lost track. This is what, the sixth or seventh time that these guys have, wasn't there a lot more? Where'd they go? Um, don't sit there, don't get hurt, Cloud. Oh, he just, <laughs> your, 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 your leader just drowned himself. I hope you guys know that. All right, so now in 1.21, they have that ominous potion. Here it is. So this is... Now we can't get bad omen unless we drink this. So I'm going to save that because I want to do a raid at some point. Did I just hear a growl? I want to do a raid at some point. So I will indeed keep that potion for a, uh, a later date. But yeah, we have so many of these wandering... Let's just... We'll place it right there, because why not? But yeah, that's what that's what we got so far. Let's uh, let's keep building. All right, so I've decided to go ahead and use some copper for this side area. So in here will be where the cow crusher is. So we come in here, the cows will sit in this one block here. Um, but I need more copper, which I, I mean, I really really underestimated how much I would need for this. So, uh, I guess I gotta go hit the mines and, uh, try and collect some more. I am also really, I have two stone, so I, uh, I'm also gonna need to get some stone. But now on top of that, I have no food. I'm completely, completely out of food. So, I guess I got to make bread. I don't really have any other option, I think. I think it's just bread, so I should have some wheat. So, let's turn that into bread. Like, let's see. Oh, we have a lot of bread. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to go eating a bunch of apples. Uh, I got some beef already. So actually, let's toss this in the cooker, the smoker. And uh, all right, let's clean my inventory and then we'll go below because uh, we're going to get some stone and then we're going to get some uh, some copper. Oh, look, I can swim so fast now. I'm so much faster in the water and I can actually breathe underwater. And we have Aqua Infinity, right? So that means I can also uh, 
break blocks much faster underwater, which is very useful. So, at least I'm happy I got the helmet as I bonked my head. It's protecting me. All right, so now we have, I mean, a decent bit of copper. I might still need to go back down, but at least we should have enough stone to golems over there put in work. Um, I guess that's one good thing about having the golems around here is they will help protect me and my little town here, but they, uh, they're starting to get a little too overpopulated. Oh, we have a ton of copper still in here. Okay, so this is what it's looking like, but I don't like this. I was kind of hoping it would turn to like a green color, but it just seems to be staying as is. I don't know if it's because I turned it into the uh, the cut copper instead of just leaving as is, but uh, yeah, I don't like, I want it to look weathered, but I don't think I'm going to get that look. So I might need to switch out my game plan and use a different type of block for this part here because I just, I don't like the way it looks. It is a, it's an eyesore, that's for sure. But the other part of the building looks pretty good. I mean, I think it came out kind of cool. So, you know, we got some windows. I got to get more bamboo sticks so I can make some more scaffolding for the windows. But I mean, you come in here, you got a little upstairs, which is kind of nice. So down below will probably be where the beds are, considering villagers can't climb ladders. So I'll probably put like a bed here, bed there. So that way they can use this as a home. Uh, I had to lock or sit Cloud down here because he was following me on the roof and uh, he almost got pushed off a couple times. So for his own safety, he is bound to the floor. But uh, yeah, let's let's figure out what to do with this part because I just I do not like it at all. Okay, so maybe let's try because we got a ton of sandstone left over from our last project. So let's see if this will look nice. Uh, I want to add a window, so I think I'm going to put a window here. We'll do upside down. We'll go up one and do another stair here. The same thing on this side. There we go. And then we got our glass, so we'll just do... Oh, I can barely reach it. There we go. Yeah, it's not bad. I think that adds the color I want, I guess, or like, I just want to break up the colors a little bit. So since we did start using sandstone in the other project for the town hall, I think it could look pretty good. Uh, however, I think it's too short. Let's go up one more and then we'll use this once again to the top. And then we'll just top it off with a little roof. Yeah, that could be kind of cool. We'll add uh, some more detail. I forgot to bring the, the walls. But I'll add a little extra detail, like a, some walls there. And uh, so let's just do some more work and uh, see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so let's just add a little bit extra little detail. So we'll add that. We'll come over here, add some flowers. I think that's fine. And then just add some greenery. Hmm. Is that too much? Might be a little too much. We'll add something here to hold it up. And then maybe I'll connect it to the roof. Oops. 
just kind of like that. That way it looks like it's coming from somewhere. And, uh, let's sleep. Yeah, I don't mind that. We need a little extra greenery here and there, so... I keep forgetting to add vines, but I, I will come back and do that. So let's, because this is going to be a mud road leading up here. So I'll just remove that, stop any moss from hitting that. And then we'll do some bone meal. Pretty good. Moss, I mean, I'm telling you, man. Some people might not like the look of it, but it's too much. I, I really like the look of moss, so that's uh do that. And I'm so happy I got that that uh, skeleton farm now because I can just go crazy with all the bone meal. Adds a lot more to it. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna do more buildings here. This wasn't the original plan, but there's still room back here, so I might add another little building here and just have a pathway going. I think that should be fine, but at least we filled the space up with a building. So, oh, let's get rid of this. There we go. Just fill that up. And uh, I got to come back with some mud, but I mean, that might be what I might. I might make that behind here is a, a little building for mud because I just I'm tired of all I do is place a giant from over here to one of these posts all the way across. And I'll, uh, I'll turn it into mud with the, I guess, glass bottle. That's what it's called. And uh, just turn it into some mud that way. But I, I had on my last world a little underground thing where all I got to do is stand there, break a block, and place the block. And uh, it turns into mud that way. So that one's so much easier. So I think when I get some more, I think I need a lot of like quartz for that stuff. So when I get all that, I will definitely have to build a building. And I'll probably be that would be what's going back here so anyway i think this building turned out really cool so let's uh grab cloud all right so now let's just go ahead and i guess break open this wall here which will help get us the cows inside a little bit easier do that and then as a barrier we'll just do that so they don't walk over too much all right now let's go ahead I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave cloud right there. Let's grab some wheat. And uh let's see if we can get these cows out. It's gonna be maybe really difficult or maybe really easy. Let's find out. Let's release the golems as well without smacking them and getting ourselves whacked into Mars. Oh, why did you jump at me so fa Oh my gosh! Why are there so many? There's a chicken in there? What is ha- Like, that is just a mystery hole. Seriously, just like a mystery hole. Alright, well, this is going quite easily. Okay, well, there's two cows in there now. I had to breed them, and then the baby went in. I had to kill two of them already because, oh my gosh. Trying to get cows into a single little hole is, like, the most frustrating thing ever. I'll give it one more try. If you don't go in the hole, you're dying. Okay. I think you're just going to slaughter him. There we go. So now we already have these two guys. Oh, got it. Okay, there we go. So now they are officially locked away. We'll cut away these corner pieces here. There we go. So now when they fully grow, we can breed them and uh, we'll get some stuff into here. So we'll already put this away. There we go. At least we got it uh, built. Let's remove this. It's just that, oh, I was 
that was a very frustrating experience. Okay, let's hurry up because it is nighttime. Uh, I don't remember how I had this. I think like that, right? Something like that. Alrighty. Uh, we'll do fence there. I got rid of the slab, so it's kind of floating. Whatever. <laughs> that is uh, that is what we got so far. I like it. There might be a little bit more detail to add to it, but for now, at least we got the cows out of that little tiny hole into a even tinier hole that is a little more productive and doesn't have a bunch of iron golems sitting around in it. So at least we got that done. Now, this wasn't originally my plan of what I wanted to do in this episode. I was actually planning on going to the nether uh, and doing some nethering stuff, but that does not happen. I was a... Uh, why is this water? There we go. Uh, I was just too focused on trying to get better gear, and uh, it took up a lot of time. So I, uh, I got a cow crusher done instead, which is actually very useful because <laughs> I just have no food uh, other than bread at the moment. So it's a. Uh, I count that as a as a W. Can I help you? Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. And uh, I'm sorry if the video is a little, a bit of a slower one or a less impactful one. But at least we got a building done and uh, we got a little farm. I guess you can call it a farm, crusher, farm, whatever, done. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, hopefully next episode I will be going to the nether and uh, possibly building a new nether portal. So... Hey, that interests you? Stick around. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.